Hey, what's happening, Facebook friends? I've just realized that I can do live videos on my personal profile, which is pretty awesome for me. Uh, it could be good for you, it could be very annoying. We shall see. Um, so I'm taking my first ever live video opportunity on my profile page, which is this, to give you my philosophy on six packs, okay? Uh, as you probably know, I've got a gym. You can see it kind of behind me. Uh, I happen to be a physique transformation expert and regularly create six packs for people that have never had six packs before. And I've done it for myself a few times as well, um, and I can do it re relatively simply and easily. But here's the fucking thing, right? A six pack, for, for the guys, if you're anything like me, that don't naturally have a lean six pack, actually having one, getting a six, well, having a six pack, but let me put it like this. You know when you're at school, and this is for the guys, right? You're at school and there's a really fucking hot girl. She's like way out of your league. You're in like the fucking nerd patrol, right? And this, this, this girl is like the coolest of the cool and she's super hot and you, you kind of convince yourself you're in love with her, right? But you're not, you're just horny. Um, and you really want to get with this girl. You think if you get with this girl, all my dreams will come true. I'll be happy forever after, blah, 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 right? And then you get with the girl. And all you can fucking think about is what if I lose her, right? What if she doesn't like this? What if she doesn't like that? Shit, what am I gonna do if this happens? What am I gonna do if that happens? So actually, you get this really hot girl and all you can ever worry about is, is making sure, trying to make sure you don't lose her to somebody else or that she just doesn't fuck off because she gets bored of you, right? And it's not, it's not that satisfying. I would assume, because I never got the hot girl in school, right? But I would assume that it's not that satisfying. But that for me is what like a six pack is like. There's a lot of us guys, especially, you know, mid thirties and onwards, that uh, just, oh, they like look at the fitness magazines, men health, men's health, and you know, all these ultimate performance websites and everything else like that, and they think, fucking six pack. I want a six pack. When I get the six pack, I'm gonna be like, yes, now I'm a fucking man, right? It's not the case. It feels good when you've got it. It feels good to get it. It feels good on photo shoot day when people like my friend Max Ellis come down and get their camera out and make some amazing pictures. But once you've done that, and once that elation has worn off, if you actually want to try and keep that six pack, it's a real royal pain in the fucking ass, let me tell you, okay? I've had six packs a number of times over the last couple of years. I've, can't, I've got a shadow of a six pack now because I can't be asked worrying about what I'm eating every fucking minute of the day to keep the six pack. So although I'm here as a physique coach, telling you that having a six pack is good, but not what, it's, not what it's cracked out to be, why the fuck do I do it? Because I believe in getting strong. Getting strong makes you mentally stronger and tougher. It makes you emotionally stronger and tougher, and it actually makes you fucking live longer. Okay, so that's the important thing for me, getting stronger, fuck the six pack, get it, take the pictures, and then forget about it. Peace out, my foes.